Yeah, I got a big one. I'm gonna go for the net on this one. Oh man, this is, that's a giant. Oh, don't do that. Oh gosh, look at this. Look at this. That's what I call a absolute monster. 19 and a half. 314. That folks is a beautiful four pounder. Let's let this pretty guy go. Off he swims. That made my morning. Two days ago, I was out here. It was 91 degrees. The water temperature got up to 69. It's We're going into the second week of April, so it's time uh, for these fish to think about spawning. So two days ago, or yesterday, I was actually catching males working beds. You know, they were up there right on the bank, right where their bed area is. And... Uh, they were aggressive. They hit about anything, but I was catching most of them on a swim bait on a HD swimmer or on the crawl. And uh, we had a cold front blow through, and it was actually 31 degrees this morning. So the water temp went from 69, 68, 69 down to it was 55 when I got on the water this morning, and the air temp was 31. Oh, that's a big one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, mama. That's a big one. That's a nice fish. Oh, my. Come here. Look at that. <laughs> on uh, 3.5 HD swimmer that's just a pretty one I gotta figure out where the fish are and what they want
got you. Got him. These fish are just stacked in these seams feeding. Oh my gosh. I I can't describe how big that bass was under this one. How come the big ones always follow little ones but you never hook them? Jeez. Oh my gosh, that was a big one. There's a look like a four pounder following this one in. Get up. Oh, look at the one with them. Look at this. Huh? See that? Look at that. There's two or three with them. Thought we might get one of them other ones a bite, but nope. There we go. That's a better one. That's a pretty good one. That's better. Oh, easy. That's a long one. You about done with your shenanigans there, buddy? Okay. Oh! Good grief. Choked it, too. That's a absolute beautiful smallmouth bass right there. Love it. And buried it in top of his mouth. Okay, out with you. Let's get you some water. I gotta see how long this one is. Even though he's skinny, he's long. All right, buddy. Almost 19 incher. All right. You're free to go, buddy. You're beautiful. Look at you. That's a good one. That's a little better one. It's windy. It's still cold but then when that sun got up pretty high to where there was no shadows on the water the fish just turned on and I was catching them still on the swimmer mostly I did go to a couple of beds and the males were all still close but they had moved they were close to where they were yesterday but they had moved out in about instead of two foot of water they were most of the males were like eight or nine feet of water still in the area but the females were the girl bass were nowhere near that them areas they were hundreds of yards away still in the drop-offs uh in like eight or ten foot of water and on drop-offs and they wanted the hd swimmer what i was doing is casting it and i figured out they just wanted it on the fall so as it was as it was purling you know the tail just flutters down to the bottom you get this hellacious bite and uh and it was big big all big fish good fish i did have four pounder this morning or today and i don't know threes caught a lot of two and a halves just a good time you guys hope you enjoyed this youtube video 
but uh when you if you go to watch it subscribe and make a comment and by all means go to tacklehd.com uh, most of the stores are shut down still because of uh, the virus situation but if you go to tacklehd.com order i i have just absolutely murdered the fish on these things uh 3.5 is what I've been using a lot, but uh, I did catch a couple on a four inch today, and those are available. And you could also, uh, while you're there, pick you up some finesse jigs. I've been using uh, skirted finesse jigs with a three inch craw on it for a trailer, but you can put a four inch craw on it as well, or just put your favorite trailer on there. And it's got a gamakatsu hook, and uh, the hookup ratio on it's really high percentile I think besides the drum that I know I was getting drum biting at it you don't hook a lot of them up but uh I probably hooked eight out of ten fish to bit it so hope you enjoyed this video stay safe get out and fish if you can and go to tacklehd.com